Hello, my brothers and sisters in the Lord who created heaven and earth. How are you all? I am Apostle Ugondo from England. If you go to the book of Romans, chapter 12, 14 to 18, if you use Good News Bible version to read it, it will explain it well. It says, Do everything in your own part to live at peace with our everyone. So, it is your responsibility to seek peace with one another. If the person refuses the peace, then you have done your own part. It says that we shall not pay evil with evil. Why do I, Apostle Ugondo, always shout about peace, peace, and people having good heart towards others? Because in many occasions, when my eyes are opened in the spiritual realm, I see many people who claim to be men and women of God heading to hellfire if they do not repent because their hearts are filled with vengeance towards others who offend them do you know that that peace that somebody may be rejecting to make with somebody on this earth today that in the grave where our flesh is going that it will be too late for the person to make that peace dear a lot of people died they went to hellfire Due to lack of making peace with one another how can we say that we want to make heaven and we, maybe you are not at peace with me we will see in heaven how can we see in heaven and, and be at peace when we don't want to be at peace in this world so we have to make every effort to live to be at peace with everyone because even if you, if you go to many churches a lot of people they are praising hallelujah together if you go to many houses, a lot of people, they seem alright. If they see each other, they will laugh with each other, open teeth. But are they really at peace? How can somebody say it? Sorry, how can somebody say that he wants to make heaven? Whereby, even in the same church, they don't, he doesn't speak with some people. He is having, he is angry, he is having bitterness against some people. That is not working with Christ. Those are why I'm bringing here, I'm bringing this topic today. Hebrews 12, 14. It says, Follow peace with everyone and the holiness. Without it, no eye shall see God. If you are walking with Christ, He says in the book of Matthew chapter 5, if you read it from 20, if you read it from 21 to 24. If you use New Living Translation Bible to read it, it will explain it well. Christ says there that in the past you have heard it was said that anyone who kills one another shall be liable to judgment. But he says, now anyone who is angry with one another shall be brought to be, to be judged. Then if you read it down, he says, anyone who causes one another is in danger of hellfire. This is what God, what Christ says in this quotation that I just mentioned. If you use New Living Translation to read it, then if you come to 23, he says, when you are bringing offering before the Lord and you remember that you are not at peace with your brother or with others, he says, leave your offering to go and make peace with one another before you can come again. Heaven is ready, but the people of God are not ready yet. Heaven is ready for we to make the heaven. We have to be at peace with everyone. How can we say that we want to make heaven, but we are not at peace with one another? Follow peace with all men and holiness. Without that, no eye shall see God. I never said. Hebrews 2.14 says, Christ, whom we are working with, says in the book of Ma in the book of Matthew chapter 24 if you read it from 9 to 14 he says that many of us shall face tribulation that many of us shall face death but he says that he who who struggles till the end is the only one that will be salvaged it is only one who walks till the end who endures till the end as Christ says in the book of Matthew chapter 24, 9 to 14, it is only one who walks till the end is the one that will make heaven. 
for the fact that anybody prays, everything happens. It's not a guarantee. For the fact that any, some people do um, prophesy, it happens. It's not a guarantee that they will make heaven. You know, those are the reasons why. If you go to the book of, if you go to the book of Matthew chapter seven, verse thirteen to twenty-three, Christ says there that on the judgment day, that many people who used his name to raise the dead, to do miracle, to prophesy, who call his name always, that not all of them that we make heaven, that many of them we never see the kingdom of God. So, do you work with Christ? If you actually work, work with Christ. Have you read the book of Matthew chapter 5 from 13 to 16? Christ says there that you are the salt for the whole human race. That let your light shine so that others will see the light in you and believe in your God. That's why I'm here to ask you again. Do you work with Christ? Try to study all his words. You will go to heaven through only Christ as he says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 6 he says I am the way the truth and the life no one shall come to, to God Almighty except through me Jesus Christ says so read your Bible to know all his words read your Bible to know all his words because anybody may deceive you anything you hear me say make sure that you it is in the Bible before you can believe Make sure, pray always that Christ talks to you. Christ says in the book of John chapter 14, 21 to 24, He says, if you obey me, I will reveal myself to you. You don't need to seek Christ through anybody because through Him we have access. access. That's why I'm here to ask you again, do you work with Christ? If you work with Christ, seek salvation through Him. You go to church just to follow to work for God, to welcome the newcomers, to, you know, help to energize souls. But after that, you need only one person to make heaven, Christ. Because every human being, we stand on the judgment day to be judged. If Judas Iscariot could betray Christ, any human being can betray Christ as well. That somebody shouts hallelujah is not a guarantee that the person is making heaven. Even that those are the reasons why. If you go to the book of 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, or 2 Peter chapter chapter 2, verse 4, it says that even God's angels who misbehaved were chased out of heaven. So somebody saying hallelujah, somebody being being your leader in the church is not a guarantee that the person will make heaven. It is only those who endure till the end that shall make heaven. Christ is the only one who will teach you about God Almighty without any mistake. And the same Christ says in the book of John 14, verse 21 to 24, He says, if you obey me, I will reveal myself to you. He doesn't need to reveal himself through anybody. Because through him we have access. That's why I'm here to ask you again. Do you work with Christ? Do you want to make heaven? Seek peace with everyone before it's too late. Then live right, live holy. Remember, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18 says, if you use Amplified Bible to read it, it says, run away from sexual immoralities, either by vision, either by, by acting, either by behavior. So, vision, even what you watch, mind what you watch, the kind of sexual immoralities that you watch by behavior, mind how you act, the kind of sexual immorality that you may be acting. So run away from sexual immorality. Christ says all those things as well about sexual immorality. In the book of Matthew chapter 15, 18 to 21, he says, what comes out of heart are what that defies somebody, such as sexual immorality. Jeremiah 17 verse 5 to 9 says that only the heavenly Lord of Lords that can never fail you but that any human being at all may fail you. So if Peter, our first pastor ordained by Christ himself could deny Christ and after the death of Christ he was deceiving some Christ's followers in Galatians chapter 2 verse 11 to 14. 
any pastor may deceive anybody also like peter did if the pastor is not at watch that is why everybody needs to be studying all the words of christ in the bible every day and be obeying them without depending on any human being and without just only depending on any pastor at all to be able to test our spirits as first john 4 1 says pray daily that christ leads you to heaven he says in john 14 verse 6 to 24 that he is the only one that any human being needs to get to god almighty that any human being at all who is willing can do more than him so if you can do more than christ who has died for you in the new testament you can also do more than any pastor at all if you can personally be studying our christ's words in the bible and obey them so if you don't see a good church start one from your house welcome everybody for freely giving you all our messages call us on 0 0 Four four seven nine three one six two six five one three. Always click on the share button to share our preaching with everyone on different social media platforms in order to help them to make heaven. Our YouTube channel to follow us is called Apostle Ugo Ndo. May God Almighty bless you.